Hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss about multi-dimensional list. So uh, in the previous classes, we discussed about uh, what a list is all about. Now, what is this multi-dimensional list? So um, we know about multi-dimensional array. Now, what is this multi-dimensional list? So list within list. Okay. So we get, we have uh, we can have many list uh, inside a single list. So it's it's nothing but multi-dimensional list. So if you see the general structure over here, so this is uh, obviously a list name equal to so uh, we'll open the square brackets okay so inside the square brackets so uh, we'll give uh, different types of uh, sub list okay so uh, if i if i want to show this uh, one second so what i will do so program on so program on multi dimensional list Okay, so if I say M I L M U L D I M L I S T, so multi-dimensional list equal to, so I will open the square brackets. So inside this, I will enter some list like one, two, three, four, comma, five, six, seven, eight. So here uh, your list sub list, sorry, your uh, list are uh, comma separated values. So five, six, seven, eight, comma. Okay. So I'll say A, B, C, D. Okay. So here I have a multi-dimensional list. So if I print this, so print uh, mul time list. Okay. Uh, if I print this, what what do I get? So I get a multi-dimensional list. So now in this way we can create our uh, multi-dimensional list. So if you want to insert an elements inside a list. So if you want to insert another list inside a uh, multi-dimensional list, so for example, okay. So uh, for example, now I want to access the elements inside a list. Inside multi-dimensional list. Okay. So uh, if I see this, okay. So, for example, if I want to access uh, print mul dime list of zero. So, what happens here? So, what is present in the zeroth index? So, a zeroth index is presented with a list of one, two, three, four. So, if I execute this, I will get one, two, three, four. Okay. So, in this way, uh, I will access the remaining two as well. So, multi dimension of zero. So, uh, here I can. Uh, Put a comma. So mul dim list of list of one in the same manner. Mul dim list of two. Okay. So if I execute this, I will get all the three one two three four five six seven eight a b c d. Okay. Now a multi-dimensional list of zeroth index is one two three four, and even I can access elements present in that list, right? So uh, one two three four is one list, five six seven eight is one list, and a b c d is another list. So now I want to access multi-dimensionally. So I want to access uh, uh, the list present in the entire total list. So I want to access one, two, three, four. Uh, in that one, two, three, four, I want to access the uh, second index. Okay. So what I will do? So uh, one, two, three, four uh, is present in the zeroth index. In that I want to access second index. So again, a square brackets and two. Okay. So uh, multi multi-dimensional list of zero. Uh, so zero is this one two three four in that uh, i want to access the second index so i will get three so if i execute this i will get three if you see here i got three okay so in the second list if i if i uh, second list is uh, with index one in i want to access eight so let us assume okay so i will access three okay so multi-dimensional uh, multi dimensional list of one three so if i execute this i will get eight okay so uh index two is of a b c d Okay, so if I want to access the first index, so uh, I want to give zero. Okay, so if I see this, I got three eight a. Okay, so in this way we can access elements present inside a multi-dimensional list. Okay, right. So uh, accessing a multi-dimensional list—that's what I said. Uh, here we have three methods. The first method is Python program for demonstrate printing of complete multi-dimensional list. So in order to uh, print a complete multi-dimensional list, uh, so there is no other go. Simply print 
that list name. So list name which you provide. So in this example, I have provided a. So uh, I, I will print a. So accessing with the help of loops. So there is one more. Uh, there is one uh, one other way to uh, access with the help of a loop. If you see, uh, this is our uh, list. Uh, so a equal to zero at index. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. One list. And first index we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So what I will do for x in a? So it will traverse through all the indices. Okay. So I will simply print x. So uh, we'll do that as well. Okay. So for x in. So uh, what do we have here? Multi-dimensional list. So colon. Okay. So for x in multi-dimensional list. So what I am doing here? Print x. So is that what I am doing? So print x. So uh, if you see this, what do we get? So we get one, two, three, four separately, five, six, seven, eight separately, a, b, c, d separately. So in this way, uh, we can access with the help of the loops also. Okay. So there is one more uh, uh, third method. So access array elements using square brackets. Okay. So uh, here uh, Python program to demonstrate that accessing array elements using square brackets. So uh, this is our given the multi-dimensional list. So for i in range of length of a. Okay. So what is our length here? So this is zero at index, first index, second index. So our total length is three. Okay. So for i for i in range of three. So obviously i takes the start as zero. Why? Because default uh, is zero. And range we are saying three. So three in the sense we will uh, take up to two. So zero, one, two. Okay, so that means it traverses through the three uh, list here. Okay, so this is zero at index. It travels to the first index. It travels to the second index. For j in length of a of i, okay, and a of i in the sense length of this is the first first index. So if you see this uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is length five. So for j in range of five, okay. So for this, if it comes to here, it is also five. If it comes to here, it is also five. So for j in uh, length of a of i, and finally we are printing a of i j. Okay. So uh, what are we doing here? For i in range of, so we're taking length of so multi-dimensional list. Okay. So in this. We are taking for j in range of multi-dimensional of multi-dimensional of i. Okay. Okay. Now what are we doing? We are printing uh, multi-dimensional of i and j. So, okay. Comma and equal to space. Okay, so if I execute this, sorry, list object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Oh, here uh, we need to give length of right. So length of uh, multi-dimensional list of uh, i. Okay, so now we can see uh, the output one two three four five six seven eight uh, a b c d. Okay, so. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A, B, C, D. So in this way, uh, we can access uh, our multi-dimensional list using three methods. So method one is simply printing the entire list, and method two is uh, using for loop. And there is also another method. Uh, uh, that this is the third method. Okay, so uh, and we have few more methods on multi-dimensional list. So in in, uh, in the previous example, we discussed about how to access elements using some methods. So now uh, we have some uh, uh, methods here. So to total, we have three methods. Okay. So first one is append, second one is extend, and third one is reverse. So what is an append? Uh, what is the difference between extend? So if you want to add a single uh, uh, element, adds an element at the end of the list. If you want to add a single element at the end of the list, we use append. Okay. For example, here uh, we have uh, uh, multi-dimensional list equal to total. Uh, um, our length is three. Okay, so this is the first one, second one, third one. Okay, this is the first item, and uh, your item is a list, and this is the second list, and this is the third list. 
okay so now what i will do multi dimensional list dot append of so i will provide a list over here okay so uh, what i uh, what i'm going to provide 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 okay so uh, if i want to print this so print uh, multi dimensional list so if i execute this so previously it was 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a b c d now we uh, we have appended a new uh, an item how we simply call it as a list 10 20 30 40 inside the list okay so it always occupies the uh, last index okay so uh, this is for uh, if you want to add a uh, add an element at the end of the list if you want to add multiple elements okay so if you want to add multiple elements it's better to uh, end of the current list uh, we use extend so add the elements of a list or any iterable to the end of the current list so if you want to add the end of the current list so uh, what happens we can use um, extend so here extend is used to extend the sub list okay so for example uh, if i want to extend uh, for example in my 0th index i have 1 2 3 4 now i want to add four more uh, elements inside that uh, sub list okay now i can use extend okay so uh, what do we what do we can do here uh, multi dimensional list of uh, i want to uh, modify the first index so multi dimensional list of first so what is the first index here? 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So multi-dimensional list of uh, 1 dot extend. That means we want to extend the sub list. So I have 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I want to add uh, A, B, C, D. Okay. So extend. So uh, what we need to give here? Uh, the sub list. Uh, A, comma B, comma C, D. Okay. Now, if I want to print, so you can see the first one is uh, the first one is one two three four, and second index is five six seven eight a b c d. So previously it was on uh, it was up to only five six seven eight. Now what I am doing, I am extending my sublist by entering uh, some elements here. So uh, my second index, uh, sorry, my first index now consists of five six seven eight along with a b c d. So you can see here the output. Okay. So this is the method called uh, extend. Okay. And the last we have the reverse. Okay. So to uh, reverse the order of the list, a multidimensional list, uh, we have a method called reverse. So what simply we do is if you want to reverse a sub list. Okay. So if you want to reverse a sub list, so what I will do, I will access that uh, with index. So a of zero dot reverse of. Okay. So that it will be reversed. So what I will do is I want to reverse the uh, the 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, third index. So if I want to reverse the third index, so wh what do I get? Uh, 40, uh, 30, 20, 10. Okay. So multi dimensional list of third. Okay. So dot reverse. Okay. Now I'll print this. Okay. Now, if I execute this, see the last one. So the last uh, index is uh, previous it was 10, 20, 30, 40. Now what I did, I have uh, reversed it. Now it is 40, 30, 20, 10. So in this way, we can reverse our uh, uh, sub list. Okay. Using this reverse method. Okay. So um, in the next class, we'll discuss about concatenation of uh, list. Okay. And uh, uh, methods present in the concatenation of list. So this is all about multidimensional list uh, with uh, examples and methods present in the multidimensional list. So how to create a multidimensional list, how to access the elements present in the multidimensional list and various ways to access the elements present in the multidimensional list and what are the methods. Okay. So uh, the people who are watching my channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well wishers and please support my channel in all possible ways. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.